Your laptop touchpad or trackpad is crucial to just about everything on your Windows PC. Without it, you are nothing. Here's a bunch of fixes we've put together for those times when it stops working, isn't detected, or otherwise malfunctions. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is Laptop Touchpad Not Working. Here are the fixes. The touchpad is an age-old feature, having long since replaced the pointing stick, or what I like to call the nipple, as the standardised alternative to mouse control on a laptop. But if your touchpad stops working while you're on the move, or in any other situation where you don't have a spare mouse handy, you can end up stranded. But don't start training yourself to use Windows with only a keyboard just yet. Here's our collection of tips on how to fix a malfunctioning touchpad, starting with the simplest. Is the trackpad disabled in the BIOS? There's a chance that, for reasons unknown, your laptop touchpad is disabled in the motherboard BIOS of your laptop. This could happen after a firmware update, for example. To check if this is the case, enter the BIOS by repeatedly pressing the Delete or F2 key as your PC is booting. The button you need to press may vary. If in doubt, Google for your specific machine. Likewise, the BIOS for different motherboards has a different layout, but your goal is to find an option called internal pointing device or similar, and then make sure it's set to enabled. This may be under the advanced heading if you have one. Once you've done this, select the option to save changes and exit. Re-enable your touchpad using the function key. This happened to me several years ago, perhaps while trying to use a function key to change the volume on my laptop, I disabled my touchpad by pressing the wrong button. For weeks I didn't know what the issue was, which wasn't helped by the touchpad function icon in my keyboard looking just like a monitor icon, and it took a while for me to realise that maybe it was in fact a touchpad icon. While holding the function key, the FN key, press every function button, the F keys, with a symbol on it that looks like it could be your touchpad to see if it switches back on. Bear in mind you might turn off your screen this way, so just press that button again <laughs> if that happens. Remove other mouse drivers. Have you plugged in a whole bunch of mice into your laptop in the past and never removed their drivers? If so, there's a chance that their drivers are interfering with your touchpad. Some mouse drivers even disable your touchpad automatically. Go to Device Manager, click the arrow next to Mice and Other Pointing Devices, then right-click and uninstall mice one by one until your touchpad starts working again. Update or roll back touchpad drivers. Once you're in Device Manager, right-click your touchpad in the list. It may be called Dell Touchpad, Lenovo Touchpad, Synaptics, or similar, depending on the brand of your PC, and make sure that it's definitely enabled. If it is, click Update Driver to see if there are any updates for it that might help. Finally, a lot of people reported that their touchpad stopped working properly after getting Windows 10, which means that the W10 driver for your touchpad may be misbehaving. In Device Manager, right-click your touchpad, then click Properties and roll back driver to see if a previous version of the driver fixes the problem. Enable your touchpad in Mouse Properties. In a lot of cases, Device Manager doesn't handle the enabling and disabling of your touchpad. If your touchpad somehow got disabled, then to switch it back on, you'll need to go to your Windows Mouse properties and re-enable it. Type Mouse into the Windows search bar and go to Mouse Settings. Here, click Additional Mouse Options. Then in the new window, go to Device Settings, Touchpad or whatever tab is at the far right of the window. Find your touchpad in the list, select it and then click Enable. Disable Tablet PC Input Service If your Windows 10 laptop is a hybrid and has a touchscreen, then there's a possibility that the Tablet PC Input Service, which controls stylus functionality, is interfering with your touchpad. If you don't really use the stylus anyway, then it won't be a big loss to disable it. If you do use it, however, you'll have to decide whether you want to go through the inconvenience of toggling this service on and off each time you want to use your touchpad. To disable Tablet Input Service, hit Win plus R, then type services.msc in the box. In the list of services, scroll down until you find Tablet Input Service or Tablet PC Input Service or whatever it says. Right click it and then disable it. Hopefully all your touchpad fixing solutions are all right here, but if you can think of any more, then please let us know. Remember that different laptops may have different software for their touchpad, so these instructions may vary slightly, but for the most part, they should point you in the right direction. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.